Summit Mountain Pickers. Hey guys, it's CJ, Summit Mountain Pickers. Just want to do another video, show some things that are sold, some sourcing items again uh, that we have. Um, I even have um, a something prepped over here, ready to start taking pictures. So um, I may even go through the process of physically showing you what I do to take the picture um, and how I place it online. Uh, so, you know, kind of a intuitive video, if you may. So, um, yeah, so let's go through a few things. One thing I do want to show, let me grab it. So, Mike Denunzio with January Wood. He made this very nice wooded art here um, and sent it to us. So thank you, Mike. I heard he uh, watches my show, so I did want to give him a call out for with his um, for his little uh, woodworking company that he has going on. Um, and if anybody is interested in getting any woodwork from him, comment down below. I'll send you a message telling you his uh, email address and his phone number if he doesn't mind me handing that out. But if anybody's interested, just take that take a look. It's pretty cool. It's a really nice piece of wood. He signs it on the bottom, it has a little stents on it, and I'm pretty sure he can just about do anything that you ask for. So if you're into something like this, which I am, you know, out here in the uh out here in the woods, just let me know. We'll uh we'll like I said, I'll put a description or something to his um to his company down below. So moving on from that. So let's speak of a few items that sold. So first item that sold is a Nolan Ryan Rawlings RBG 60 baseball glove. So let me get that for you. So here's the baseball glove. It's getting baseball season. Nolan Ryan signature in the inside. It's not physically signed by Nolan Ryan. It's just his his signature glove. So right-handed glove. Um, so um, whoever purchased it, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you watch the video too. So next item that sold. Oh, and the glove sold for uh, $35, $44.90, uh, including shipping. So the next item that sold is a 10-piece mini tea set. So um, we, uh, so the glove we found, at, I found at a Goodwill uh, a little while ago. I knew I was getting it at the end of the season, so I thought it was going to sit for a minute. But gloves sell pretty good if you ever run across one so or what the last one i sold was a Derek jeter then this and nolan ryan kind of looked for a good signature in, inside so um this 10 piece 10 piece mini tea set sold for uh five dollars 918 uh, including shipping so um not a bad little item i think uh my wife found this at a estate sale uh they she got a whole box full of them uh they come with the mini sets and then some of the big sets you can actually play um you could play um tea uh, you know kids could play tea with whatnot this one is more for looks but the whole box and i think she got like eight or nine different sets and we have like three left uh was four um cost three dollars for the box so you know just selling this one alone made our money back but you know again we've already sold a few of them so they they sold they sold okay not great i mean don't don't go beating down somebody's door trying to find these little sets i mean if you think that's what you're trying to get into i mean five bucks for a little mini set it's not that much but you know if you sell a few of them it adds up right all right that's all that's sold so 
sourcing just a few items i'll bring them over here to me to us anyways so the first item is a old school adidas just a green polo size extra large probably have just a few bucks in it two or three dollars uh, it's definitely a goodwill bought item that's the goodwill tag so but it's a nice shirt um old school adidas on it the next is a um a national championship florida state shirt from 1999 so again probably only have two or three bucks in it again this is uh you know goodwill item as well uh but you know nice polo whoever likes florida state uh look into getting the shirt uh, so the last item we actually have already have hung up over here, prepped, ready to take pictures. So I think we'll go through the process of me taking pictures. And I'll also show you the process of putting it online. Just in case people are interested in wanting to move to doing eBay themselves. I know a few people have talked to me and some said they've, it, I've inspired them. They want to try doing eBay. Well, I just want to kind of show you what I do to put it on eBay. Um, you know, I'm not saying that I'm the best at it, but I, we do sell quite a few items and, um, we have a little bit of a process. So I'll try to go through those with you, some of it. Okay. So let's, uh, let's move on over to here and I will show you what it's like to take pictures. Okay. So I don't have the greatest setup for this. I hope you can, uh, see. So first things first. I'm getting the phone set up for us to snap some pictures. So, first things first, make sure you have a good light source, right? And you have a good white background. You want to show you want to show something, uh, you know, semi-professional. You you don't want to just snap some photos and and uh, throw it up online, not on eBay, anyways. So, you want to definitely have something good to take pictures with. This, I usually do this with my wife's phone, on uh, my phone, but I'm doing it with my wife's phone because I'm recording on mine. So, so, uh, as you can see, I lined the, I lined the, um, picture up the best I can, keep all the corners out, snap the picture, okay? Now, as you can see, I have it up front. I'm still showing it. I want to try to catch certain things that i think people would like to see for example close up of the nike check and now at this point i would also look for any uh imperfections or I, I would know that there's any imperfections and if there is an imperfection this would be the time to take a picture as well to kind of note that uh, with this jacket there is none i'm just going to catch sleeves i'm going to catch the physical zipper okay and then we're going to zip it down just a little bit and then i'm going to catch the picture of uh, a picture of the physical tag on the inside one this is t showing them you know the physical tag of the brand it is because even though it's nike nike has certain brands jordan nike golf uh, any certain 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 types this gives them an idea this is a vintage nike jacket as you could see, the old school Nike check inside there. But also, I'm showing them the extra large, the size of the jacket. And so, in the description on the computer, I will note the physical size and tell them, you know, look at the description. Okay, now, let me see if I could do this without having everything fall over on me and ruining this video. Okay, so now, I'm going to flip the jacket over. Make sure... You know, if you have any hair or anything on it, you, again, you want to take as quality pictures as possible. You know, not that we're professional photographers. Some of you may, very well, well may be. Me, I am not. So, again, I'm going to get a full photo of the picture, trying to keep all angles out. This is just a big cardboard box that we bought from Walmart. So, you know, I'm trying to keep out the top portion trying to keep the angles out the bottom and on the sides. I just want to catch the white of the background and the physical thing I'm taking a picture of. The next thing, again, just like the last photo, I'm gonna, or the last uh, last photos, I'm going to catch the Nike sign there on the back. So just a close-up of the Nike sign. 
And then there, there's a cool little design in the back back here. And so I'm going to take a picture of that. Um, so that's basically it. You know, you want to try to stay within about six or nine photos. Um, the least amount, the best. But you want to capture everything to make the, the physical um, object sale that you're trying to put online. So that gives you a good idea of the photography portion, which is can be a little bit difficult oh and by the way this is another source item we actually found this jacket let me get my face in the viewer here we actually found this jacket in a, a thrift store in Wil north wiltsboro uh the jacket we only bought it i think for four bucks um and in a minute we'll find out how much it's going to sell for so um, i'm going to go actually give a tutorial on physically placing the item into uh, eBay. So uh, let's pause here and then I'll get set up and uh, with the computer and everything and have the camera facing that where you guys can watch that. Okay, so now we're here. Um, I've, I've taken the pictures, I have emailed them to myself. And what I'll do is I'm um, using a Chromebook here. So I will download all the attachments as a zip file. It's archived to zip file 16. And, you know, you, all computers are going to be different than this. So, you know, um, do it however you please. But this just works best for us. I, I went to the wrong thing. I went to Docs. Um, so, I'm going to come over here to Files. Um, I already had one keyed up. But I'm going to show you here. It goes to the Archives. Right? And then here's the Pictures. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pictures. I'm going to drag them over to eBay pictures. So I've created my, uh, a eBay file for all pictures. Okay. So a little bit at a time. Just like that. And I'm sure, you know, some people are like, oh, why aren't you using this? Or why aren't you using this? I'm just going to say, this is what works best for me. There's more ways to do this than what I'm doing. I'm just trying to show you the way I do it. All right, so then I'm going to go here to electronic uh, to eBay. And I'm going to search Nike. Let's just start with Nike jackets, right? Okay. So that one's pretty close, but it has a hoodie. So let's say... Let's actually go vintage. All right, so um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find one that is close to what we're physically trying to sell, right? So um, I'm looking. That one's not bad. Vintage Nike, uh, Nike's uh, Nike Windbreaker. That's not bad. But what I really want to do is I want to come down here. That one actually works too, but that's a bit of jacket. I don't want to do that. But what I want to do is I want to look at all sold items. Okay. So I don't, uh, what we were originally looking at just then was items that are for sale. I'm more interested in something that has already sold because that's going to give me a good idea of the price to put on my jacket. All right, so this actually looks pretty good. This is pretty close. It's the same size. It's not the same exact look, but it has the Nike check. And um, uh, we're, we don't have the Nike written on the arm, but it's a good, it's a good, uh, good choice to look at. So let's click on this one. So as you can see, for thirty bucks. So I think what we would uh, what we would go with is a good price for twenty five, twenty five or thirty. I think I'm gonna stick with twenty five. So now we're gonna click on what says sell one like this. Oh, just a second. I have to put the passcode in. So let's pause this and uh, come back to it. Okay, sorry. Now we're logged in. So as you can see here over top, it says, um, I don't want none of that. Let's click back off of that. I didn't mean to touch it. So it says vintage Nike men's size, extra large, 
blue, red, white color block vented windbreaker jacket. So we're just going to make that ours. We're going to make it work for us. So vintage Nike men's size extra large works fine. So then we're going to say, we're going to say white. blue color and then we're going to take the block vented out and we're going to say windbreaker jacket okay so now it kind of works for us right vintage nike men's size extra large white blue color windbreaker jacket okay all right so now that's it for the title so let's come down here so this is important of course condition is pre-owned we want to put a conditioned uh, description here. So what I'm going to say is in oh, good condition, see pictures for details. Okay? So that tells them... I, I'm presenting this in a good condition, but to please look at the pictures for more of a detail and, you know, then they can zoom in, take a look at certain places. Maybe they see a spot on the jacket that I didn't physically see when I bought, purchased it or when I was taking pictures. So, you know, that kind of, kind of clears you. You're saying, I, I, I'm presenting this in a good condition, but, you know, look at the, de look at the details in the picture just to make sure that this is something you physically want. Okay. All right, now the next step is add photos. So we're going to click here. Now we've moved them all over to our zip file, right? So um, I'm doing this without a mouse, which I usually have a mouse, but it's fine. We can make it work. So I just clicked on all the photos, open, and then they're just going to shoot over to eBay. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to move these pictures around to make them work perfectly for me. So that's going to be the photo I actually want them to see. And what I do is I place them in the design from front to back. So right now, those are all the front photos ending right there. Now here's the back photos. And then the last photo, the last two photos of the, is the Nike check on the back and then the opening of the nice little design on the back side of the jacket. All right, so now this is the photo I want them to see. Of course, it's not complete. I want to turn the, uh, the jacket upright where they can get a good uh, view of the jacket. You know, this is where you can crop the photo if needed. You can brighten it up if needed. I'm just going to move the picture um, uh, up for, uh, upwards where somebody can physically look at the jacket. So now we're gonna go through and just do all that. Sometimes this is not needed, sometimes it is. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and uh, do them all that way. All right, so um, now we're to the physical size and the Nike check inside. Now here is the back side of the jacket. The Nike check on the back in the cool little design on the back side of the windbreaker here. Okay, so now that's all done. So now this is the important part. So remember, we stole, I don't want to say stole, we took a, um, a listing of another jacket. So we got to make sure we remove all the information that doesn't match with our jacket from that old listing to make it match with ours. So, um, and you could kind of do it from up here too if you want to update it that way, but I, I just go by the physical um, descriptions below. So brand Nike's fine, style windbreaker's fine, uh, size regular extra large is fine, color is not fine. So we're gonna actually just remove the red portion and just say, white blue okay and then we go past that 
again trying to make sure everything matches it's a coat of course men's zipper now this is just extra you don't physically have to put anything in here as long as it doesn't have an asterisk next to it here um asterisk indicates things that you physically have to put in so this is just extra but you know things like this for example you want to put in it is vintage we want see now this is something that if we weren't watching we would a lot we would have featured and it's not there so ours does not have a hood so we're going to delete the hood i'm also going to delete this blue i don't know what that what that was representing um and also i'm going to delete this color block okay so that's not information that i need on mine um again uh, i didn't look to see what the material is but it doesn't have an asterisk so i'm almost going to delete that where it doesn't uh get in my way Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to physically come up here and I'm going to highlight and copy and paste this right here. And then I'm going to come back down. And I'm going to put that in bold. I'm going to put that here. Okay, so this is just the item description. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another tab. I'm going to bring up my eBay. And you'll see why I'm doing this in just a minute. Okay, and I'm just going to go um, down. And I'm just going to grab a quick listing here. Let's see here. Let's grab something jacket-wise. Where we can copy the old stuff. Jeez. Wow, I thought I've had more jackets online than this. Actually, I know I have more jackets online. It's just not on this first page, right? I'm about to just grab something and we'll, we'll run with it. Let's see here. Oh, here's a jacket. So... Let's open this jacket up. Okay. It's about the same weight and everything. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to copy this description, this information here. This is just basically stock information that we put on everything. Control copy. Okay. So that way we can add to it. And then also, yeah. So I set this shipping at 825 expedited shipping. So that's what we're going to put the same um, shipping value of the other of the new jacket as. So let's go back to here. All right, so we're just going to put that information there. Now, as you can see here, it's just basic information. It's condition. It's pre-owned. Um, it tell it's identifying how we're shipping it, which is priority mail. Uh, we're telling them that we have a 30-day return policy with 10% restocking fee. All orders received by noon, Monday will PayPal confirmation will be shipped the same day. Um, I'm actually going to take this out. That has recently changed. Will be shipped in two days. Okay. And then here's just our store, our eBay store. That way, if somebody comes here, they buy some merchandise from us, they really like what we have, maybe they'll come shop at our store and uh, look at some more stuff. All right, so now we're going to come down here. Now, this is important. Again, we're going to put this at 30 bucks. Okay. And then um, all this is just basic information. This is your PayPal all that okay so now here's the next important stuff so yes we're going to send this calculated i don't know why it's set to medium mail we're going to send it priority actually let's change this up to flat same cost to all buyers typically i would set this up as calculated but that would mean i would be uh measuring this jacket getting a uh, getting a uh a, a length uh, you know the measurements getting the weight for this video i don't think that's what we're going to do so all we're going to do is we're going to say 
eight dollars kind of matching the other all right and i am going to turn off international shipping just because to put international shipping on i would have to uh, again um, get measurements in size. Uh, I may come back and do all that, but for right now, I'm just going to exclude that. All right, make sure that you're shipping from the correct place, which is uh, from my areas per lear. I am going to boost this item. Boosting the item kind of just gives um, uh, gives you a little bit of a benefit. So eBay kind of puts it at the top of the list. We're just going to boost that item at 1%, which is just another 30 cents that we would have to pay back or pay to eBay. All right, so now we're gonna list the item. As long as I didn't miss anything, uh, the item should be ready to go. So let's list the item, let's see what happens. All right, I'm done now. So awesome, so that is listing a item going completely from start to finish. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, it kind of gives you an idea what how to set it up, how how to put everything online. I know it could be a little confusing. Uh, a lot of people think eBay is nothing but bids. That is not true. You can do buy it now, um, uh, anything like that. I don't do very many bids. Um, I've done them on occasion, but I make most of my money from physical buy it now. So, um, you know, if you have any questions about that or you want more tips or you want to see something more in depth or have questions about certain things, what I did, uh, just comment down below. Um, again, like, share, comment, subscribe, um, do all those great things. But in the meantime, have a good day and uh, enjoy the mountains. Bye.